How does one man have so much riz? He ended the episode with two girls still carrying him, just dragging his coffin. And he's like, haha, this guy is nice. Bro actually didn't do anything during the fight either. Like, he straight up said, okay, let's die together. Oh, you don't want to die? Okay. And then we have, you know, Annette, and then we have Tama, you know, two girls who are so powerful that they defeated the enemies. But Loki, the person that carried last episode, was Otto. No, no, no. What's his name? Was it Otto? The bard guy. That dude, he just wanted to play the soundtracks. He didn't give a fuck about anything. Loki, Konosuba esque type of like comedy. It was so fucking good. Now, I think we're gonna get into a New York. I think the goal right now is to get to Thomas' place, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Tama, <sighs> Sensei, get out of there. Level three. Boiled tofu. I don't think so. <laughs> Here's some bread. Do you have boiled tofu? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> that laugh he does? <laughs> that, that laugh is actually one of the funniest things he does. <laughs> and it seems hard. I'm not your place. Detour first. Four huh. Four separate temples. So like Sakchen, remember? Who the uh, double suicide partner was? She could be, you know, uh, summoned at one of these other ones. And the Demon Lord Castle is in the middle, huh? Interesting, interesting. Our goal is to go to those, you know, different places. I feel like in order for the story to connect to the Demon Lord, and since Sensei is obsessed with Sachan, there's gotta be an association there. Either Sachan is the Demon Lord, probably not, or Sachan already headed to the Demon Lord's castle, and that, you know, it creates a reason for Sensei to actually do something. Like, how? That's the craziest shit. Because, like, he just showed up and was like, nah, I don't want to do any of this shit. Because, like, the whole thing about Annette was in the beginning, she got so depressed by the reality of how heroes are. You know, like, they summon and she's like, oh, you, Shasama, please save us from the demon lord. And they're like, the fuck? I never asked for this shit. And they went off to do their own things and she became very jaded. And then the suicidal Riz just took her over. Yeah, find me some bold tofu, woman. <laughs> then I will kill such a... <laughs> the only reason that she's dragging him along is to confirm Satchan is a lover. Just fucking ask him right now. Then you could save the whole fucking, you know, traveling across the world. Then. Why is that, Tama? <laughs> she does not give a fuck. Cigarettes? Bad. Alright, she put in her two weeks. The bat? The bats are familiar? It's kind of cute. What is that thing? Because. No. Probably not. There it is. This familiar is useless. It's very cute though. Yeah? Why? It's our familiar now. <laughs> the fuck? Wonder why Melos. Wonder if Melos is a name for like a character when it's one of his, like, you know, his like author life career, where Melos was a character that was depicted like this person. But it's our familiar now. <laughs> Melos is having a panic attack. What's coming? Something big. Dragon. Not CGI. I love how like the standard of whether or not an animation is actually trying or not is like, is a dragon CGI or not? New character. Who this? Dragon Tamer! 
Les aida à, à Hadanga. This is not an actual language, so I can shit on it. What the fuck was that? Bro, that was some English. <laughs> you speaking? What are you speaking? What the fuck are you doing? It sounds like English, even though it isn't. Dragon Tamer. No, that's a sensei chilling in there. He's alive. <laughs> huh? Whoa, 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 what? Uh oh. Why? She's like a dragonoid. Dragon hockey. Ah, that coming in clutch. Sensei, do something. Holy. It is, but what's even more impressive is NS Barrier. Even last episode, that shit clutched so hard. Why does this dragon tamer who looks like a dragon hybrid want to kill all other worlders? Because other worlders have killed dragons in the past every time they came here. It's like a heroic thing to do, right? It's like a stereotypical thing for an isekai character to kind of slay a dragon, right? So because of that, she hates other worlders. But Sensei will be like, nah, I'm different. I don't give a fuck. You got bold tofu? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I remembering Eminence and Shadow soundtrack right now? When you hear this theme, does it remind you of Eminence and Shadow? Is it the same composer? It's pretty hype though. No, 100% this is the same composer. The whole rhythm there was Eminence and Shadow. That is straight up Eminence and Shadow soundtrack, but like different right now. That whole, like the, the, the whole composition of music right at this moment. <laughs> what is that mark? Mark of the dragon? Demon Lord? The Dark Lord? The Wrathful Dark Lord. <laughs> it's Oto. <laughs> Could you imagine if Oto is playing his fucking <laughs> soundtrack? <laughs> Listen, if they actually showed Oto playing that shit, I would have fucking laughed. But like, she is actually the Dark Lord? Mao. Like, like, she is the person that all Isekai characters summoned here are supposed to defeat. We're already we're meeting her? <laughs> what the fuck is this angle? I love this camera angle, actually. That's, you know, sometimes they do this when, like, a character is, like, having a mind break. It's the mind break angle. Sensei! Level 3 Sensei versus Mao. This resolve! <laughs> Donut! Donut! Okay, okay! I mean, he got what he asked for, but... That was cold. That was pretty cold. I know it's a comedy, Isekai, but like that scene here, my name is Waldorella. Waldelia. <laughs> Goodbye. Waldelia. Waldelia. Oh, sensei? Hold on? Yo, yo, Sensei, what's going on? How is he alive? Oto, this is Oto. Okay, okay, this is actually Oto's soundtrack from last episode, by the way. Them? Why is she panicking so hard? Oh, 
How is he doing this? The suicide race is working on the demon lord. I have no idea what he's talking about, but the things he's saying is resonating in the demon lord's heart. <laughs> Sensei just made the demon lord run away. Fly away. A level 3. A level 3 just intimidated the Mao of this world and had her escape. What the fuck? Suicidal hockey, you're right. It's a Mao, it's a suicidal hockey trip. But like, we're still donutted, you know? That injury. Medio, Medos or something. What are you gonna do, Medos? You know what? Let's go back for a second. I actually wanna like unpack what he was saying there. What the fuck was that thing, right? Threatening letter. Yeah. I once wanted to stab someone too. He's clearly talking about, you know, his past life. I went as far as sending a threatening letter. He wanted to kill someone back in the past. He sent him a threatening letter. And then this clearly has some similarities with her life. Because, like, he's not talking about what happened to her. He's just seeing the anger in her eyes and relating to a story that he had. But suddenly, it's like, hold the fuck up. I got that letter, right? That's the kind of feeling I'm getting? I'm not really sure. And this makes the demon lord so scared. Like, everything he just said is like, holy shit, this actually happened to me too. What the fuck? Is this just a coincidence? I don't know. Something about that really frightened her. That suicidal riz, man. Hmm. And then they get away. Confusing dialogue, but like... You think that's as simple as him getting donated and being able to just walk like that? I think there's more to it. I think that there was such a reaction as soon as, you know, he mentioned about that letter and stabbing, right? It could be that she's thinking like, how the fuck is this dude walking after I stabbed him in the stomach? It could be that simple. Maybe it is that simple. Maybe I'm looking too deep into things. It, it really could be that simple. Sometimes we're trying to like really understand read between the lines. And trying to get to like level 3, level 4 level of thinking, when at the same time, you just had to have level 1. Donarstrag region. Zweiten Temple. The friend. Another elf? What the? Yo, we're familiar! Can turn into a magic carpet? The fuck? That would have been useful before. Clutched up. <laughs> That's right, my man got donutted, please. Alright, is that potion's gonna patch up the hole? Furry village. Piggy. He's back, the donut is gone. We lost the coffin, but he's back drinking poison. And Meros is even so attached to Sensei now. Meros is basically Sensei's familiar, man. I, I felt unwell. <laughs> he did indeed. No way. Classic. The other two temples we're gonna check out. She quit her job. Right, the whole jaded thing that she became because she was too innocent and pure about, you know, this job and the sense of purpose, but no one actually gave a fuck. Why not? It's a hero. Even the priest. Even like the people who summoned them, they hate the hero, huh? There's no such thing as a decent otherworlder. Every one of them that's shown up has just been in like just trash, huh? But the demon lord hates the fucking otherworlders. The people that summon us here through Truckkun is also just hating on otherworlders. Hmm. So, so I see. The gift for him is the power of rap. 
My man freestyling with his isekai powers. I see this is one of those, you know, trash isekai characters. I'm telling that, she, you know, Isha's talking about, you know, selfish interest. Where the fuck did Mr. Rapper come from? <laughs> okay, so his skill isn't rapping. He prints money. Inflation out of out of the wazoo, bro. Who had this skill? In Konosuba, there was a magic camera, remember? Bye bye, Mr. Rapper. Yeah, I get it, right? If every Isekai hero here so far has just been abusing their powers and being dumb as shit, then yeah, I could see why they think like that. Sensei's different though. Sensei just doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to die. Does he actually have a gift though? Because, like, that's the thing in episode one, remember? He didn't really have a gift. He has poison? But that, I don't think that's his gift, right? He's just super immune to poison, though. He, I, I, other than that, it's just... Other than plot armor, I don't think he actually has that OP gift. He just has nothing other than poison. Oh, that's even a bigger poison, but... It's so funny because Sensei does not care at all, but he's like, You changed my life, and I'm like, What do you mean? I've just been sitting in a coffin the entire time. <laughs> Sugar Mama. Yeah, she has. No, no gift! Nothing! Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! We casually not gonna, you know, provide the context of who we got defeated by, the demon lord? There it is, there it is. Mao. Jesus, Cameron. Wait. Destroyed by another other world of seven days ago. And I wonder if that could be Sachan or a completely random person. But right now, the same Wrathful Dark Lord that we saw, the rumor is, seven days ago last week, got defeated. The fuck? Why would she still be here? Oh, Demon Lord Castle? Wrathful Demon Lord is... Ha! Okay. So it's looking like the actual end boss is an otherworlder who quote unquote defeated the, the Wrathful Demon Lord, but the Wrathful Demon Lord clearly got out and escaped. Which right now, and it may, I wonder if this somehow relates to like, you know, how she was so shook by what, you know, Sensei was saying, but this is the actual antagonist of the series. Seems very evil. Like just has a fucking bottle of, you know, champagne or got, like wine in the fucking, you know, it, it's classic Demon Lord shit, but it's another worlder. And the Wrathful Demon Lord right now, she's kind of just like away. Maybe she could join our side. I totally, I could see a situation where the Wrathful Demon Lord joins our team. Oh, right. The father must have been the actual Wrathful Demon Lord. Annette assumed that she was a Wrathful Demon Lord because of the symbol, right? She saw the symbol, Wrathful Demon Lord, but it was actually the daughter. Oh, now we can have the Mao daughter join our team and get revenge. This is good. I like this twist. Has there ever been a series where the Demon Lord antagonist role has been replaced by another otherworlder? <laughs> Because that is the new Dark Lord to defeat. The reasoning is like, why would he have been summoned? You know, we already defeated the Dark Lord, but it's like, nah, dude, the true antagonist has yet to been settled. Huh? <sighs> that fucking laugh! <laughs> That's the best part! <laughs> 
死のう私の原稿を破ることに使った男は眠る What's he about now? ここ眠る墓石にはあったのよどの<笑>いや何そろそろこのってねだがどうにも筆が乗らないそれで,ラですか先生私との出会いはどのように書いてあるのでしょう、はい、<笑>何何なぜだろう o h he even calling her by her name, well, did he?、Uh, you know, when I met her, it's just way better than you and Ned. It's not a g o m o t o book no can say or she makes s i r i o n a decking or poor Annette. No, I'm not going to a good man. That's a good one. They are, you can look at me, but I'm going to be a good one. Oh, yeah, 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 初級魔法くらいなら跳ね返せりませんからもう先生が苦しむ姿は見たくないのですまさに今苦しそう悪くない Oppressive feeling 私たちは買い出しに行ってきます Helmet too Alright, he's in prison now へへしたかあ、いいしいや、hello 君はとしてるんだ、店員者 Oh, chillin 新たな刺激を求めているところさまあいいちょうどお前に話があったんだいいか天使 OK I don't care あいつは昔からとても純粋なやつでそれゆえ簡単に人天使といたら絶対にアネットは不幸になる親友として頼むアネットとのパーティーを Would he even fight against this? I don't think he really cares about Annette No? Grin? Yes. He's happy about it? Annette Kung a Pokuni Tsu. Kiming a Kuchu Hasamu Yona Koto Based? Yeah, she got her own free will. So, any Kimi wa Naze? So, Ewa, Omae ga Tensha da Karada. Haki, you. But as you are Omae Tachi. Oh no! The rapper is back! And so is another fucking hero. I'm gonna assume another other world there. Oh no. <laughs> wonder how true that is. A group. Well, we only saw one person on the throne, but I wonder if this is a lie. Was it actually a group? Hmm. This is such a weird contrast of everyone being like, Woo, so happy! World peace is here, but the soundtrack playing is so evil. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Raise the tax in this region now? Like, I now am lord of this domain. I really wonder if he actually fought, like the group, or if he's trying to take credit of the other guy that did something is now trying to you know, capitalize on that. Huh. I don't know about that. Oh. Wait, what? The violence against. Yeah, we did throw the fucking money at his side. That did happen. <laughs> Sensei, step in! Ew. Ew. That's it? What kind of cliffhanger is that? No! I want a sensei to step in! Is it credit, post credit? Okay, whoa, 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 Sensei just writing. 
傑作が書けそうな予感がしてね。Alright! Let's see it. Sensei's got the creativity juices back with this, you know, town burning down. Is he gonna be able to save the world or save this city next episode? And that is today's episode of Isekai Shikaku. And honestly, like, this new arc is fucking fantastic immediately. I, I think that this episode may be one of the better ones, if not if the best one. How many episodes are we in? Three, two, three, three or four? This shit was good. Because, like, this episode. Just revealed so much more about the plot, right? About how there's four separate temples, and you know, that's where the heroes are summoned. But in this world, people fucking hate the other world because you've seen how trash they are. They use their, they abuse their own skills. And then we get to also meet the Rattle Demon Lord, who's actually the daughter of the Demon Lord. This whole sequence of events of Sensei getting stabbed and having that little like talk with the Demon Lord daughter and like scaring her that was actually amazing. The soundtrack, and it is the Emerson Shadow composer. Same person. I'm like, yeah, it feels that vibe. Like, it is so fucking good. Then the rest of it is coming to a new town, you know, where the other temple is. We got a new familiar, but the problem right now is the fact that a group of other worlds are supposedly beat the demon lord and took over the throne. Well, we know one guy that's on top of it, but there's these other trash, you know, other worlds that's showing up trying to now oppress this town, saying, you know, who will sacrifice themselves to defeat the wrathful demon lord. I bet that guy didn't even fucking do it. I bet these clowns didn't even fucking do it, man. But, like, this is gearing up to be really hype. Next episode's gonna pop off. And, like, this Isekai, bro? Yeah. This is way better in Failure Frame. What other Isekais? I, we have to let Failure Frame, you know, flesh out the story. But, like, Isekai Shikaku, I, I see the hype. I see why you guys enjoy the shit. Like, it's not just the comedy. Comedy is a focal point. But, like, the story right now is getting so good. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.